After completing the fuselage in the previous video, I decided I need a rudder. So I cut out the rudder and added a 9 gram servo, as you can see here. The EDFs on this build are cheap used 50 millimeter 3 self um, EDFs. I simply built a structure over them and then made the nacelles out of 3 millimeter Depron. Here's a finished wiring setup for this build. Here's one of the finished nacelles with the EDF inside. So what I did is I soldered two 22 amp ESCs in parallel, so the battery connections in parallel, so I only have one battery to power both. Then I soldered two millimeter bolt connectors on. This will go in the wing. And then the servo connectors are simply Y harness into the receiver. The engine pylons are simply cut out of three millimeter plywood on a bandsaw. They have notches on the top that connect directly into the airfoil structure inside the wing for strength and they're doubled up on each side by 3mm Depron. The battery hatch holds a 3-cell 2200mAh battery and it's magnetic which is very convenient. Once the nacelles are finished, balsa blocks are epoxied in place onto the EDF and then that was epoxied into the engine pylons. I just epoxied both nacelles and EDFs in. There's a little bit of side-to-side -side motion. Um, that's okay for a light airplane. Like the best way to do this would be to 3D print the cells, which have formers going all the way through that attach directly into the wing. But like I said, this plane is so light, it doesn't matter. Okay, this is the wing structure ready to be sheeted on top. I got both five gram servos in place. In order to get them to fit, they protrude on the bottom slightly, but it's important that it looks good on top. Servo extensions going into the receiver hatch. ESCs in place, they're connected in parallel, like I said earlier. So it's time to put the top sheeting on. Right here is the top wing sheeting, and I have it laid on top so I can adjust where to extend the foam in certain areas or take away foam. This way the uh, top sheeting will fit right away when I glue it on. Here you can see the top wing sheeting pieces being glued in. I then sanded the leading and trailing edges. Then I glued on the finished tail and nose sections by adding an extra former on each that acts as a plug, which makes a very strong joint. Then I did all the finishing touches, including hooking up the control horns and servos before flying. Here's a finished 757 at the field ready to fly. You can see the battery right there. I also added two of the four flap canoe pylons on each side of the wing. I'll add the other two later. All right, here we go. We'll see. <laughs> All right, yeah, coming straight from the lake. You ready, Highland? Yep. Yeah. Are you feeling any yaw problems? No, it's, it's good. I'm gonna try uh, a little pass to the right. Alright. Yeah, it turns really nice. Oh, that turns like a dime. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Going around. No problem. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, it's a Nice landing. Thanks for watching guys. In the next video, I'll add the paint and all the details.